In this tutorial, we'll cover AWS Code Belt. Let's open our repository with Visual Code. In the previous tutorial, we followed the instructions in this file. And the last step is to create a code belt. Before we create the code belt, let's check our files. We have an HTML code in here. This is the page. And in here we have the belt spec. This is the belt spec. It has phases. The first phase is install. And here we're installing Node.js version 10. The second phase, the pre-build, we're not doing anything here. Just echoing this line. The same thing goes for the third phase, which is the build phase. We're echoing two lines. And in here, we're gripping this line, DevOps build demo from the index HTML. This is the line. Okay. And here, we are pushing the, the files, all the files, to our... Uh, artifact which is I'll select the artifact which is uh, AWS S3 so let's do that from AWS the whole code is present here so let's go to the code build and build our first project build projects create build project in here let's give it a name let's name it something like uh, dev tools build okay the repository this is our repository dev tools and we will reference the branch the master branch the environment I will select Amazon Linux 2 the runtime standard and the image standard one okay for the service role let's create a new service role keep it as is and the build spec we're gonna have to specify the file because it has the name build spec we need to select the artifact Amazon S3 and the bucket name Let's go to Amazon S3 and create a bucket in there. This is my Amazon S3. Let's create a bucket here. Let's name it Dev Tools uh, Test. And make sure that we're in the same region. Not in here, but in here. This is our region. Bucket versioning. Enable the bucket versioning. And create the bucket. Now we have this bucket here. Dev tools test. If we come back here. Refresh the page. Give it the name. Dev tools. Build. Repository. Reference the branch. The environment. The runtime and the image we have a new role and the build spec is selected and here Amazon S3 we'll find the bucket name which is DevTools test okay leave everything as is for the artifacts let's zip it and keep everything as is create the first project
now that we have the project let's start the build okay our first build has succeeded as you can see succeeded and this is the first build in here it went through the the phases and everything works worked just fine uh, we can check the phase uh, the phase details we don't have any errors in the build details we can see the environment the artifact and everything if you have an error just go to something related to the uh, IM wall you can go to the IM walls and fix that from there this is the wall If you didn't succeed, you can try adding the policy for the S3 bucket. Just type S3. In here, use the output read only access. And now we can check that we have the file in our bucket in S3. This is the DevTools test. And here is our build. This is it for the build, for the code build. See you in the next tutorial. In the next tutorial, we will cover the code deploy.